stop to think about why are fractions so difficult? I mean, what makes them so tricky that people loathe fractions? Let's take a look at some of the reasons why. So let me start by asking you, how many numbers do you see here? Because if I ask children how many numbers they see, what do you think they're gonna say? Two, I see a three and five. But when we're dealing with fractions, we're actually talking about just one number. This is really tricky. This is how we go from whole numbers to fractions. It gets weird. There's a few different ways that I want you to think about this fraction. And this video is going to go over those lines of thinking. The first way that I want you to think about it is as a part to whole. In this case, I'm thinking of this as three parts out of five. This is probably one of the most common ways that we see fractions interpreted. I have three slices of pie out of my whole pie that had five slices. I could also think of this as three copies of one fifth. So this part to whole relationship three out of five. The next way that I want you to think about fractions is as a ratio. We can interpret this same fraction as three boys for every five girls. This is almost a multiplicative relationship, right? We have almost twice as many girls as boys. So this ratio. The last way that we can think about this number right here is as division. Just like I can write four over two, I can read this as four divided by two, which would be two, it's just a division bar. So why are fractions so difficult? Because look at all the ways that I can interpret these fractions. It's difficult to sort out in which case are we using which different scenario? Are we referring to it as a ratio? Is it a part to whole? Um, we can even think of this part to whole as not just out of one whole, but if I have five balls and three of them are red, I can think of it that way too. So it gets really tricky when we talk about these different ways that this one number can be represented and then it's not two numbers. I hope this video gives you more insight on why fractions are so difficult for our students and some different ways of thinking about this one number.